tell God how good he's been this morning. Yes, it's the first watch of February, and we are thankful, God, because you have been so good already in 2024. You have kept us from danger seen and unseen. You have made ways in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. You have closed doors that needed to be closed and open ones that needed to be open. You have been so good. Not to my neighbor, not to my friend, but this thing is personal. Lord, you have been so good to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we get God a hand clap of praise? It sounds like y'all came to worship him this morning. Hallelujah. You have been so good, God. So good. Season after season, you've been so good. So good. Good morning, family, and welcome. We are so glad that you're here with us in person and online. We ask you to worship with us this morning. You pressed your way into the house. I'm Minister Apollonia Villanueva, and I have the honor of leading us in worship this morning. Can we join our hearts and our minds for a word of prayer? Gracious God, we thank you for your presence that we already feel in this place. Holy Spirit, we ask you to have your way move in and through this service. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to lift bow down heads and hearts this morning. We ask you to move by your power and by your might. We give you free reign this morning. We invite you to come on in and take a seat and inhabit our praise this morning. We thank you for what you're doing in each and every one of our lives and in the life of Fellowship Covenant Church. We thank you, Lord God. We give your name thanks and praise. Thank you for your love and your commitment towards us day after day, season after season. We love you and we give your name praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. Come on and clap your hands for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy of the glory. This morning, our scripture reading will be coming from John chapter 8, verse 12. If you can stand for the reading of God's word, it's on your screens, as you know. If you will read with me, let us read. Again, Jesus spoke to them. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Hallelujah. We thank God for his word and his promises to us. Glory to God. If you can, remain standing as we now transition into our time of praise and worship with our minister, Naeem O'Reilly, and brother A.J. Raffinell. Thank you. Hallelujah. Can we offer praise to the Lord? For he has done great and mighty things. Can we offer worship to the King? For he alone is worthy. He alone is worthy. He alone is worthy. First Thessalonians says, Rejoice always, pray continuously, give thanks in every circumstance, for this is the will of God concerning us. Can we just offer thanks to the King? Can we offer praise? for our, our breath, for our hearts beating? Can we just begin to be grateful for the small things that we take for granted? Come on, let's lift our hands and just give a, a praise of gratitude. Take the moment and say thank you for life. Thank you for health and strength. What the king wants from us is praise. Praise in every circumstance. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemy. Yeah. I raise a hallelujah louder than the unbelief. I raise a hallelujah My weapon is a melody Yeah, I raise a hallelujah In heaven comes to fight for me oh, I'm gonna sing 
in the middle of the storm louder and louder you're gonna hear my praises roar and up from the ashes hope will arise yes in the feet the king is alive and i raise a hallelujah with everything inside of me I raise a hallelujah And I will watch the darkness flee and I raise a hallelujah In the middle of the mystery I raise a hallelujah And I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm Louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises roar Up from the ashes, hope will arise Death is defeated, the king is alive Come on, and I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm Come on, sing it out, louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises up from the ashes, hope will arise. Yes, it's the feet. Come on, lift it up. The king is a lift up your praise right here. You're worthy, Lord, to receive honor and glory. Oh, oh, oh. We love you, Lord. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is worthy to be praised. I'm and I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm Louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praise and roar Up from the ashes, hope will arise Death is defeated, the king is alive one more time And I'm gonna sing, put your hand together In the middle of the storm, louder and louder You're gonna hear my Hope will arise, death is defeated, the king is alive. Oh, and I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm, louder and louder. You're gonna hear my praises roll, come on, up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Up from the ashes, hope will arise. Up from the ashes, come on, hope will. It may not look like anything, but up from the ashes. It may look dark and gloomy, but up from the ashes. God does it specialize in up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Up from the ashes. Hope will arise up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Come on, say it. up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Lift it up, come on. Up from the ashes. Up from the ashes. Come on. Up from the ashes. Up from the ashes, up from the ashes, hope will arise. Death is defeated, the king is alive. So don't tell me what praise cannot do. The sound of my faith makes the mountain move. Let's build him a home with your praise. For nothing can hold back the Father's grace. Don't tell me what praise cannot do. The sound of our faith makes the mountains move. Let's build him a home without praise. 
For nothing can hold back the Father's grace Don't tell me what praise cannot do The sound of our faith makes the mountains move Let's build him a home without praise For nothing can hold back the Father's grace I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm Louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises roar Up from the ashes, hope will arise Death is defeated, the king, come on, can I hear y'all say that? I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna, come on, lift that up Louder and louder, you're gonna now come on, let your praise roll right there. Let your praise roll. Lift it up. Hey. Let your praise roll. Hey. Let your praise roll. In the middle of every circumstance, let your praise roll. Let your praise roll. the middle of the storm louder and louder you're gonna hear my praises roar and up from the ashes hope will arise death is defeated the king is alive the king is alive so my hope is too the king is alive In the middle of the, in the middle of the storm, louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises roar. Up from the ashes, hope will arise. Death is defeated, the King is alive. Come on, let's worship the King here. Jesus, Jesus, precious Lord, none on the earth nor heaven above that I have found more beautiful. You are my treasure, my great reward. And I just want to move your heart It's all I want to do I just want to stand in awe And pour my love on you No matter how much the cost I freely give it all to you All to you Jesus, Jesus, my offering, all of my ambitions, my hopes, my dreams, and here's my life, Lord, a sacrifice, oh, just to bless you. I just want to move your heart. Get caught up in your gaze right here in your presence, God. It's where I want to stay, Lord, just to dwell in your house. Spend my hours and my days on you, all on you. I just want to move your heart. It's all I want to do, I just want to stand in 
and pour my love on you no matter how much the cost freely give it all to you all to you come on i just want to move you can y'all say that it's all i want to do i just want to stand in all and pour my love on you no matter how much the cost I freely give it all to you all to you I just want to move your heart get caught up get caught within your gaze right here in your presence is where is where I want to say Lord just to dwell in your house Spend my hours and my days on you, all on you. And this is a fragrance that I'll pour my oil out. This is a life laid down. Then here I give my vow. This is a song I sing. Here's every melody. Tell me what moves you. Tell me what moves you. Come on, lift it up. And is it a fragrance? Then I'll pour my oil out. Is it a life laid down? Then here I give my vow. Is it a song I sing? Here's it. Every melody, tell me what moves you. Tell me what moves you. Give it a fragrance. Is it a fragrance? Then I'll pour my oil out. Is it a life laid down? Then here I give my vow. Is it a song I sing? Here's every melody. Tell me what moves you. Tell me what moves you. Is it a fragrance? Then I'll pour my oil out. Is it a life laid down? Then here I give my vow. Is it a song I sing? Here's every melody. Tell me what moves you. Tell me what moves you. Tell me what moves you. What moves you? What moves you? What moves you? I just want to move you. I just want to move you. Let the world the meditation of my heart be acceptable let it be acceptable let the words of my mouth the meditation of my heart be acceptable be acceptable come on let the words Is it a fragrance? Then I'll pour my oil out. Is it a life laid down? Then here I give my vow. Is it a song that I sing? 
hears every melody tell me what moves you just tell me tell me what moves you oh receive our praise oh god receive our praise oh king Sanctify our hearts today. Receive our praise. Receive our praise. This is our desire. I pray. Receive it, Lord. Receive it, Lord. Receive. This is our desire that you receive. All the broken vessels that we are, we desire that you receive. Now come on, lift up a praise for the king to receive. Lift up your worship for the king to receive. Let it be a sweet sound. Oh, let it be a sweet smelling savor. Oh, let it be a sweet sound. Take joy, my king. Take joy. desire for it to be a sweet sound. Oh, we desire for it to be a sweet sound. And let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ears. Jesus, who is Christ. Would you wave your hand? Will you give him away? Glory. Hey, let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts, may they be acceptable to you. Pray that you'll accept and receive our praise in Jesus' name. Be glorified in our midst, we pray. As we were praising God and singing the songs of Zion, it came to me that there are some of us here today who feel like we have big things that we want to do and be, but we haven't had the opportunity. You may be seated. If you're here today and your problem is not vision and your problem is not talent and your challenge is not that you have a skill, it's that an opportunity has not presented itself. I would do it, but I just said that the door hasn't opened and the way hasn't been made. I haven't found the knob to the door to open it I want to ask you if you'll come you know if it's you don't come if it's not you but if it is you would you come I'm gonna ask the ministers to prepare to pray I just need an opportunity I just need a chance baby I want to have I want you to come you ask your daughter your daughter to come uh-huh I just need an opportunity the opportunities have not presented themselves to me ministers I want you to come Amen. Second line, I want you to come as well and pray for thee. I need a chance. See, what I need is an opportunity. Will you all pour some oil in the hands of the second line members as well? In Jesus' name, what I need is for the right um, circumstance to present itself. Is there anybody else who says, what I really just need is an opportunity? Yeah, I need a chance. Will you just talk to the Lord for a minute? While you're here, will you just talk to the Lord for a minute? I need an opportunity. <laughs> I need a chance. 
I need a circumstance in which the right door opens for me. And the situations are opportune. The situations are right. Let's see if we can get one line. Yeah, that's what I need. Let's see if we can get one line. I need an opportunity. Seems like the doors have been blocked. Seems like the ways haven't presented themselves. Would you talk to the Lord for a minute? Would you just talk to him? Would you just talk to the Lord for a minute? Would you bow your head and close your eyes and just talk to the Lord for a minute? So God, here we are on this first Sunday in February in your house. We're glad to be in your house. Because you are the way maker. Your word teaches us that you made a way in the wilderness for your people to walk through and you made a way through the sea a dry pathway for them to walk on you're excellent at making ways so here we are we need you to open up the right doors for us doors have been closed or hindered or hampered doors have been blocked doorways have been impeded or doorways have just not appeared but right now in the name of Jesus we pray that yokes over our lives will be broken put your hands on your own eyes if you're standing in the front put your hands on your eyes so now Lord as we put our hands on our eyes we symbolically pray that you'll show us opportunities that we might be missing and that you'll reveal to us what's in front of us that we haven't seen in Jesus name and that you get put your hand on your heart and that you give us courage now to go for it when with the door appears when 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 the way appears give us courage Lord you know we've been discouraged and you know we've been um, um, dissuaded and you know that sometime Lord things have happened and we haven't been able to go for it like we wanted or we went for it and then it didn't work but we pray in Jesus name today that new doors will open for us in Jesus name that favor will rest on us well yeah please let your favor rest on us God we pray for opportunity we pray for the right circumstance and the right situation we're here because we need to have the right circumstance and the right situation and it's easy for you nothing is too difficult for you so with our hand on our heart give us courage to walk through the doors that you open and give us discernment to see the doors you've already provided and now god we pray uh, that that we will be able to bring all the excellence that you've poured into us the capacity the creative vision the giftedness the anointing we pray in jesus name for the right way to be made send us in to the circumstance where people need exactly what we have send us into a situation oh God where people are able to see who we are and what we have and what value we are we pray in Jesus name that you would situate us in the places where we need to be so the right doors can open and the right ways can be made and now we pray for an unequivocal yes oh yes when the opportunity appears help us to say oh yes yes i will yes i'll go lord when we know it's you help us not to hold back help us not to say oh that's too much oh i can't do that oh there's no way i would be able we pray instead that we will be ready to walk through that we'll walk by faith that even if we say i don't know how i could do that that we'll go for it anyway. Oh God, here we are in your house in the beginning of a new year. Come on, Nashai. We're asking for a new chance and a new opportunity. New open door. Lord, please let scales fall from our eyes so that we can recognize the doors as they come. We ask for opportunities. Yeah, yeah, in the spirit. You said anything we bind on earth would be bound in heaven. So we bind these blocks and we bind these hindrances in the able name of Jesus. And now we loose new opportunities, new doors, 
according to the will and the purpose and the plan of God and by the power of God make ways for us out of no way and when the opportunity emerges grant us thy peace thy strength courage and grace to walk through the door because we know we're more than this we know we have more than this we know there's more to offer than this now we pray that favor will rest on us favor from heaven favor from people who can help us favor from people who can help us favor from people who can help us favor from people who can who can give us opportunity and chance favor from people who, who who can when they say our names doors can open and we cancel the assignment of hindrances from our family line that keep blocking us 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 and we pray in Jesus name that we plead the blood over curses over wrong words spoken over us in Jesus name and over our purpose and over our destiny and over our capacity we cancel the assignment of the spirit of fear our worst adversary we pray instead that we put on the garment of praise and we put on the strength of God put on the peace of Christ hey let your favor rest let your power rest yeah yeah let your goodness rest help us to know you see us help us to know you love us help us to know you are for us <laughs> help us to know you're for us Help us to know that you know what you put in us. And that in the due season, you're going to open up the right door. We pray for right doors to open. Every wrong door to close and every right door to open. One person showing me favor. Order our steps, oh God. Cancel the assignment of the thief against our lives and our destinies. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Now, will you say while you're standing here, Lord, I receive the new opportunities that you're going to send my way. Cause my eyes to recognize them. Cause my heart to receive them. Give me courage to walk through the door. Make my hands strong for the work. Make my hands strong for the work. <laughs> make my heart strong for the assignment let your favor rest on me and cause me to be outstanding excellent undeniably superior let what I present let what I present make what I present a blessing to all who behold and cause it to bless me as I use it for your glory and honor in Jesus name amen now clap your hands because you believe it as a sign of your faith as a sign of your faith as a sign of your faith come on you can go back as a, oh you're not clapping like as a sign of your faith thank you 2024 finally came thank you hallelujah that the door finally opened thank you that the way was finally made for me thank you this is what i've been waiting for thank you jesus you may go back to your seat god bless you hallelujah 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 the lord is so worthy he knows just what we need when we need it and we thank him this morning. We thank our pastor. I would now like everyone to stand up who can. I think this is one of our favorite parts of the service. We are going to pass the peace and you are going to say, may God's peace be your portion and may his joy be your strength. You have three minutes. I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm Louder and louder, gonna hear my praises roar Up from the ashes, what will arise? Death is defeated, the king is alive I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm Louder and louder, gonna hear my praises roar 
hope will rise Yeah, this could be the thing is a lie And I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm Louder and louder, gonna hear my praises roar Up from the ashes, hope will rise In the middle of the storm Louder and louder You're gonna hear my praises roll Up from the ashes Hope you arrive Yes, it's defeated The king is alive I'm gonna sing In the middle of the storm Louder and louder You're gonna hear my praises roll Up from the ashes Hope will rise Death is defeated The king is alive I raise a hallelujah Presence of my enemy I raise a hallelujah Louder than the unbelief I raise a hallelujah My weapon is the melody Whoa, oh, oh, I raise a hallelujah You got 60 seconds, 60 seconds Here they come to fight for me I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm Louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises roar up from the ashes, hope will arise. Death is defeated, the king is alive. Come on and get back to your seat. Uh huh. Come on and get back to your seat. Sing while you get back. Worship while you get back. Tell God how good He is while you get back. I want to hear you roar. Come on and get back. Come on and get back. Raise your hallelujah. I hear a roar in the spirit. I hear a roar in the spirit. It's somebody's hallelujah in here this morning that's making a new sound. You came up from the ashes. You came up from the storm. You coming up out of difficulty. There's a roar in here. I hear it in my spirit. There's a sound in here in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, family. Hallelujah. Come on, can you just clap your hands? It feels so good in here this morning. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. We coming up and out this morning. Out of the ashes, out of defeat, out of discouragement, out of depression. Hallelujah. Because the king is on the throne. Because he's the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Sing it one time for me. And I'm going to sing in the middle of the storm. Louder and louder. You're going to hear my praises roar. Up from the ashes, hope will arise. Death is defeated. The king is alive. And I'm going to sing. In the middle of the storm Louder and louder You're gonna hear my praises roar And up from the ashes Hope will arise Death is defeated The king is alive Hallelujah The king is alive So you may not be on the other side of this But you're gonna praise him in the middle of it In the middle of the storm Hallelujah Hallelujah. We will now ask Elder Walden to come up to lead us in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Father, we enter into your presence with praise and thanksgiving and worship. <laughs> we bow down to you, O Holy King. Oh, come on across this place. Let's lift up our voices to the Lord. As we enter into his presence, let's worship him. 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 Let's praise him. Lord, we bless you as we enter into your throne. We bless you as we come into the holy place. We bless you. Oh, we bless you. Come on, every mouth should be open. My God, we're not going to partially go in this morning. We're all going to enter in this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, we've got to come up and enter into his presence. My God, we put shame aside and guilt aside and condemnation aside. And we come in because of Jesus. Jesus has given us access. Not in our own strength this morning. Not in our own goodness this morning. Because of Jesus, we have access. And so we come this morning blessing you and praising you, O Holy King, the God of all gods and the Lord of all lords. You are supreme. Every position, every kingdom, my God, hallelujah, everything is subject to you. This morning we bless you and we praise you collectively. Hallelujah. Every mouth is open to glorify your holy name. We will not hold back our praise. My God, we won't hold back our worship this morning. We say to you, oh, you are the soon coming king. And oh God, we await you in this earth. And Father, this morning as we come, as we've heard, oh God, some instructions on yesterday, we pray, oh God, as we present ourselves as living sacrifices, that you might deconstruct us, that we might be reconstructed. Lord, that the things, oh God, hallelujah, that have held us back, our attitudes, our beliefs, Oh God, trapped, oh God, in self-images that are not based upon what your word says. Help us this morning, oh God, as we shed these things. Oh God, that have kept us down and kept us back. We ask this morning that you would break strongholds, oh God, in our lives. Oh God, as we present ourselves to you, as we present our minds, as we present our hearts, as we present our bodies, Lord, break the strongholds that have kept us bound. You promise us freedom. You've promised us abundant life. You've promised us wholeness. And this morning we come seeking, oh God, asking and knocking. But God, tear down those things, oh God, that has held us back. Lord, we've looked outside, but now we look internally. We present to you everything that we have. You promised to keep against that day. Oh God, that which we give to you. So we give you our all today. We give you our all today. Help us, oh God, to be built up. Oh God, as you're tearing down, as you're uprooting, as you're destroying and overthrowing the places of the enemy in our lives. Oh God, then build us up and plant us in the place, oh God, that we need to be. Oh God, change us. Change us. Change us. Help us to be ready for what lies ahead. Change us. Oh God, we heard yesterday, oh God, that we need to shake the old skin so that we can take on something new. Help us to shed those things that have held us back. Oh God, that have held us in place, but not in the place that you prepared for us. Oh God, that we might be positioned, oh God, moving forward. So God, visit every seat today. Visit every heart today. Visit every mind today, oh God. Visit every family represented for under Fellowship Covenant Church umbrella. Do a wonder. A wonder, oh God, that we could say man has not done, but it was only the Lord who was on our side. 
oh God we say today you're the God of all flesh and we present ourselves to you today Oh God, you've called us and you keep calling us. And Father, today we answer the call. We say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh God, our posture is bowing down at the knee. Our posture is bowing down of the heart. We say, yes, Lord. Oh God, we've ignored you. We've said no to you too many times. Oh God, we've turned our back when you've called hold us close but today we say yes Lord because you want to do a work in us Lord we get into one accord with your will today change us heal us oh God save us from destruction keep us oh God in this evil day remember your covenant your covenant of love and of peace oh God remember your covenant of mercy Oh God, remember what your son has given for us. Not that we deserve it, but because your love for this world, oh God, hallelujah, has been great. Oh God, we want to be the ones that will live holy. We want to be the ones that will live according to your will. We want to be the ones, oh God, that will be a light on a hill. Oh God, they cannot be hidden. We want to be the ones that will shine forth the glory of God. Let your will be done. As we present to you today, everything that we held for ourselves, but we give to you today. We give to you today our egos, our minds. My God, these great minds that you have given us, our creativity. Oh God, our thoughts about our own selves and our future, we lay it unto your hands today. And we say, God, you work it together for our good and for your glory, that you might be glorified in the earth. We, your people, bless you. We, your people, call on your name. We, your people, glorify you today. The one and true God, the holy God who's like none other. We praise you today. And we all say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be glorified. Yes, Lord, be glorified. Yes, Lord, be lifted up. Yes, Lord, here I am. Yes, Lord, be lifted up. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's such a weight of glory in here. The glory of God is in this place. It's not an emotional feeling, it's the glory of the Lord. It's the presence of the Lord. So Father, we don't move quickly to the next thing. We sit in your presence, for there's healing and wholeness in your presence. There's deliverance in your presence. There's restoration in your presence. So we thank you today, God. We thank you today, God, for healing hearts, for healing hearts. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Say something to the Lord. We thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you. We give you thanks and praise for you're a good God. You're a mighty God. You're a sovereign God. You're a holy God. You're majestic in all of your ways. Yes, you are God. Yes, you are God. Yes, you are God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We will now move into our offering. Come on and clap your hands. The Bible says give to him, trust in him. He'll direct your path. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken over.
running over running over shaking together and running over hallelujah thank you pastor I want to announce our seasonal stars for this quarter for this Sunday uh, sister Jackie Ballard sister Sadie Hayward sister Odessa Cunningham sister Joan McNeil sister Pamela Sellers sister Yvette Wheeler sister Regina Gunn sister Tiffany Pratt brother Kevin Rivers brother Edward White Sister Annette Thomas and Sister Erlene Ferdinand. Thank you so much. Clap your hands for them for your faithfulness to the house of the Lord. We have currently 39 participants and 23 paid in full. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are now in the hands of our hospitality team. Let us pray over our offerings. Gracious God, we thank you. You said that you would give seed to the sower. So we thank you that we have seed to plant in good ground this morning. We thank you that Fellowship Covenant Church, the church that we love, where we come to every Sunday. God, we thank you that this is good ground, Father. We thank you that you will give back unto us 1,000-fold all that we've sown into your church this morning, oh God, into your kingdom work. Father, we pray that you would bless those who had a desire to give and don't have to give this morning. Bless them with seed. Seed, God, that they would be able to participate and give into the upbuilding and the kingdom of God. We give your name, thanks and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. All that I have, trust in him, he'll direct my path, will give to him his tithes and my offering, I'll bless his holy name. Give to him all that I have, trust in him, he'll direct my path, will give to him. His tithes and my offering, I'll bless His holy name. And I give joyfully to the Lord. I give joyfully unto the Lord. With thanksgiving, I offer to Him. I give joyfully unto the Lord. I give to Him. All that I have, trust in Him, He'll direct my path, or give to Him His tithes and my offering, I'll bless His holy name. I give joyfully unto the Lord, I give joyfully unto the Lord, with thanksgiving. I offer to him, I give joyfully unto the Lord. I give joyfully unto the Lord. I give joyfully unto the Lord. With thanksgiving, I offer to him, I give joyfully unto the Lord. I give to him. All that I have, trust in Him. He'll direct my path. Won't give to Him His tithes and my offering. I'll bless His holy name. I give joyfully unto the Lord. I give joyfully unto the Lord. With thanksgiving. I offer to him 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 with.
portion Giving I offer to him I give joyfully unto the Lord Amen We give joyfully unto the Lord Before we move on in our service I want us to just pause in this moment um, Sister Daphne Stokes had to go to urgent care um, She just left So we just want to lift her up in prayer And just cover her so I ask you all to pray for her throughout the day. Amen. Okay. Father, we thank you for Sister Daphne. Lord, we pray that you would go before her. We, say, we pray that you would send the doctors and those who would help for her care, God. We pray, Lord God, whatever it is concerning her body, Father, we pray that you would perfect it right now, God. We pray that you would regulate her blood pressure, God. We pray whatever pain she has in her body, God, that you would touch her now. For your word says that by your stripes she is healed and made whole. So we declare that Sister Daphne is made whole in this moment, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. That as she is on her way, God, that you are healing her, God. You are touching her body father we pray for her peace in the name of the Lord Jesus give her the care that she needs God comfort her now go hot God be with her in the name of Jesus we pray amen. amen amen thank you family we wanted to acknowledge our first time guests if you are with us for the first time will you just wave at us we just want to make you hallelujah God bless you my sister Thank you so much for choosing. God bless you. Thank you for joining us, Sweet Pea. We are so glad that you decided to join us this morning in worship. We pray that you are blessed. Amen. We also wanted to acknowledge the Ravenels who are home. God bless you. It's so good to have you home. We have a card that I wanted to read and an offering. We thank you so much, the, the O'Hare family. O'Hare family, thank you, Pastor. And the card reads, thank you so much. The kindness and thoughtfulness you've shown will always be remembered and warmly appreciated. Dear church family, the O'Hare family wants to thank everyone who helped in one way or another to make sure Alice's 40th Thanksgiving birthday celebration was a huge success. We are so grateful indeed. We thank Brother LaHaye, the security team, Deaconess Sharon, and all the ones who were so patient with us and helped out. Big thanks to Sister Marie Morgan, who helped in serving the food and making sure that everyone had enough to eat. Kudos to, the only, to our only elder dentist who rolled up his sleeves and also served a true definition of leadership by example. Once again, we say big thank you to all of you. Remain blessed forever, Fellowship Covenant Church. A shout out to Sister Renee Cross. We thank you a lot from the Ohore family. God bless you, Ohore family. Thank you for your offering. It's an honor to serve you. We will now have our media announcements, so if you will tune into the screens. Good morning, Fellowship. Here are your weekly announcements. We will hold monthly in-person prayer service at Fellowship Covenant Church every first Saturday of the month at 10 a.m. And corporate prayer will be held via teleconference every Saturday evening at 8 p.m. The Fellowship Food Pantry is open to serve the community every Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And if you are a member of Fellowship and in need of food from the pantry, please see Deacon Teresa Robinson or anyone from the food pantry team to receive your items on Sunday instead of waiting for Wednesday. The Humble Hands Ministry continues to serve hot meals to the community every first and third Saturday of the month. If you or someone you know is in need, please stop by between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. to receive a meal in a to-go container. Please join us for Bible study on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. via YouTube, where we will focus on the Gospels. The Prime Time is program, sponsored by the Congregational Care Ministry, is designed for women 80 and above and includes opportunities to share meals, testimonies, encouragement, and fun. If you are a Prime Timer, reserve the fourth Tuesday of every month from 12 to 2 p.m. for these meaningful gatherings and be sure to RSVP with a member of the Congregational Care Ministry. 
February is Fellowship Small Group Month, and during this time, we will share with you the blessings of being a part of a small community of believers where you can learn and grow together. Beginning January 28th through February 17th, we will have an enrollment period for anyone who wishes to participate in a Fellowship Small Group. More details will follow as they become available. On Saturday, February 17th, the Men's Fellowship Ministry will host Men's Connect, a quarterly half-day gathering designed to encourage spiritual, emotional, social, and physical development as brothers journey together toward the fulfillment of God's purpose and plan. Breakfast and lunch will be served. Please RSVP with Elder Dennis. We hope you'll stay in fellowship with your sisters and brothers in Christ for coffee hour every first Sunday of the month immediately following worship service where light refreshments will be served. We'd love to worship with you in person next Sunday in our beautiful sanctuary. And we trust that you'll join us every Sunday for worship here at Fellowship Covenant Church where the love is. Please be advised, Fellowship family, that mask wearing at FCC is optional. We will, however, continue to check temperatures at both entrances. As a reminder, if you're not feeling well, we ask that you please stay home and worship with us online via YouTube so we can continue to create a safe environment for all. Thank you for worshiping with us. If you'd like more information on anything you've heard here today, we invite you to connect with us online at fellowshipcovenant.church and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. Those are our announcements. Have a blessed week. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Janet Wilson, for always giving us these beautiful announcements week after week after week. So can you clap your hands for her? She does such a beautiful job in doing those announcements. I just wanted to give two small amendments and then we're going to have an announcement from our children and youth department um, from Brother Cameron Patterson, an announcement from Temple Visions slash Paraments Ministry from Sister Veronica Clark, and then immediately following her, an announcement from Abundant Living by Minister Rose Clayton. So firstly, I would like to make a mention that our small group enrollment is um, we're not doing that anymore. We pulled back a little bit on that. So we're not doing that for small groups. So we'll eliminate that announcement. And then immediately following communion today, um, we would ask the women of fellowship to stay back uh, for a women's meeting, a very brief meeting. And then immediately following that, we'll begin our coffee hour. Also, just a reminder that there are no talk back. There's no talk back. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Cameron Patterson. Did you sign up for Welcome Sunday? We want you to bring children and teens to Fellowship Covenant Church at 10 a.m. Next Sunday, February 11th, all children, teens, grandchildren, and neighbors are invited to Welcome Sunday. Amen. Welcome Sunday will be a great day, a day of great fun for children 4 to 12 years old. They will hear stories sing songs, play games, make crafts, and have a day of excitement. We'll have activities, contests, and snacks. Amen. For teens 13 to 18 years old, we'll have exciting, thought-provoking lessons and activities. Our main desire is to lead our loved ones to Christ. Amen. And we pray your children will join us for t children and youth ministries every Sunday at 10 a.m. And this coming Sunday, February 11th, please bring your children so we can have a lot of fun and introduce them to growing faith in Christ in our children and youth ministry. Thank you. Good morning, fellowship family. The Paraments and Temple Vision Ministries recognize Black History Month with Food for the Soul. On Sunday, February 25th, 
after worship service, dinners will be available with dessert for $15. Extra sides will be $2. To stay or to take out orders can be placed in the cafe. A $10 non-refundable deposit will be required when ordering. The balance is payable Sunday, February 18th. We will serve baked and barbecued chicken, beef and turkey meatloaf, collard greens, yes. green beans, macaroni and cheese, sweet potato souffle, and cornbread. Our dessert menu will include banana pudding, carrot cake, coconut cake, and pound cake. Please, <laughs> please support our fundraiser and enjoy good cooking. Thank you and God bless. Good morning, fellowship family. What a pleasure and an honor it is to stand before you on behalf of Abundant Living Ministries. I just want to say that I thank so many of you who came and supported us in 2023 and the events that we had. We had a great time of learning, a great time of fun. But I want you to know that in 2024, we want more. Amen. Amen. Yes, in 2024, we want more of our love to spread from heart to heart and from breast to breast. In 2024, we want more of your ideas and your thoughts. In 2024, we want to help and meet you at the point of your need. Amen. So we made a little pivot in our structure. And so on next Sunday, we're inviting those of you who are already a part of Abundant Living Ministries to meet us over in the fireside on my left, right across the hall. And we're just going to have a meet and greet and a sign up because we want you to come out and be a part of this ministry, this growing ministry. And we can only grow better if you come with us and grow. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any of the team ministry leaders here that can stand? Our sister Princetta, I think I saw her before. Yes, Earlene Brown, thank you. These are the ladies that are helping and working together. Amen. To meet you at the point of your needs. So if you come out next Sunday after service, we'll let you know what we have in store for 2024. And it's all more. And we want you to sign up and tell others. Okay? God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I have one additional announcement. If we could quickly put the flyer on the screen. I don't know. I'm sorry. You all weren't prepared for it. Um, the altar workers will be having a raffle. You can get one ticket for $3 or two tickets for $5. So you are able to purchase tickets immediately after um, service during coffee hour in the cafe. And um, proceeds will go to their ministry. And the raffle will be drawn on the 11th of February. So let's support these ministries. Hallelujah. We will now have our meditational song by Brother Naeem O'Reilly. And immediately fa following him, the voice we will hear is none other than our beloved pastor, the Reverend Dr. Kanye Ray Eaton. Hallelujah. Let praises rise. From the inside, from the inside of me, may you delight in the inside, in the inside of me. Come feel my life, Lord, from the inside. From the inside 
of me set me on fire from the inside from the inside of me cause all I want is for you for you to be glorified for you to be lifted high all I want is for you for you to be glorified for you to be High. Come on, lift it up. Let praises rise from the inside. Come on, from the inside of me, of me. May you, may you delight in the inside, in the inside of me. Come feel my life, Lord, from the inside, from the inside, from the inside of me, set me on fire, 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 from the inside, from the inside, love me, because all I want. Lift him up, lift him up, still he speaks from eternity, he said if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw men to me, how to reach the masses. Men of every birth for an answer. Jesus gave the key. He said, If I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw. Oh, cause all I want is for you, for you to be. All I want oh, is for you, you to be glorified, you to be lifted. For the world is hungry for the living bread. Lift the Savior up for them to see. Trust Him and do not doubt the words that He said. I'll draw a man unto me. Oh, it's all I want. Here for you, you to be glorified, you to be lifted high. Oh, For you to 
will be glorified. Oh yeah, oh yes. We want you to be glorified. This heart is all we want. This is our desire. You to be glorified. So let praises rise from the inside. Come on, sing it out, church. From the inside. From the inside of me. May you be. This is our desire, Lord. Be pleased. Help me. Come feel. Come feel my life. From the inside. From the inside of me. Come on. Set me on fire. Cause all I want is for you, for you to be glorified. This is our desire. All I want, all I want is for you, you to be glorified, you to be lifted high. you to be we need you to be we want you to be yeah. oh Lord we need you to be be lifted be lifted be lifted be lifted be lifted be lifted high for the world to see high for the world to see oh be lifted come on say it be lifted To be lifted, come on, be lifted. We want you to be lifted, be lifted. Lift him up, lift him up. Still, his speech from eternity. He said. what he said I'll draw all men one more time say I'll draw all men unto me come on let's lift him up come on with the fruit of your lips will you lift him up Come on, with the fruit of your lips, will you lift him up? Will you let your heart speak to your mouth and lift him up? Lord, I bless you. Lord, I thank you. Come on, open up your mouth. Lord, I bless you. Lord, this is my praise. I'm thanking you for what you've done and what you're doing and what you will do. Let your name be glorified. Get all the glory. Be glorified. Be glorified. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Come on, speak to the Lord for just a minute. Be glorified. Be glorified in what I say, in the words of my mouth and in the meditations of my heart. Be glorified in my intentions. Be glorified in my inner thought life. Be glorified by my tone of voice. Be glorified in my actions when nobody's around. Be glorified. Hallelujah. Glory. We your name praise father we pray today 
that you'll reveal yourself to us in new ways through your word and by your Holy Spirit. And we pray now for our hearts um, to, to unfold like flowers before you in Jesus' name. And we pray, Lord, that the word that we hear uh, will work mightily in us and will bring forth fruit that's uh, worthy of this mighty God that we serve. Set us on fire. <laughs> Set us on fire from the inside. You desire truth in the inward part. Set us on fire from the inside of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're grateful to the Lord for all he's done for us. We say, Lord, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Amen. There are men in this assembly who are called to be men of God. Called to be men of God. Not men who straddle the fence. Not men who give themselves over to the desires of their flesh, but men of God. Not men who follow the pattern of the world, but men of God. Brothers, if you know God has called you to be a man of God, I charge you today to break company with actions and attitudes and habits and relationships that pull you far away from your king that cause a breach, cause a distraction. You're called to be his. You're called to be his and he's a jealous God. Not interested in sharing you with your boo. with your latest fad. If you say, all I want is for you to be glorified. He's glorified by a consecrated life. He's glorified by your yes to his will, even when it's inconvenient. He's glorified by your submission to his lordship, even when you worry that you might be deprived I want to remind you that he's El Shaddai. He's the mighty breasted warrior. He's mother and father. He's more than enough. Hear the word of the Lord today before trouble comes to you. Hear the word of the Lord today before consequences cripple you. Hear the word of the Lord today. Turn from ways that don't please him. He's merciful and he abundantly pardons. Ask him for pardon. It's not only men, it's women and men, but today the Lord impressed on my heart. Men of God, be men of God. Be men of God. Be men of God. Women walking in disobedience, forsake it. You don't have to say sorry every other day with tears in your eyes just forsake unrighteous ways just say I, no more let me see your hand if you ever had to say okay no more no more of this no more come on keep that hand up if you ever had to say no more I'm just not gonna do this anymore clap your hands if you're grateful that you said no more no more no more no more no more I want to say to you, if you had to say no more, then leave it behind you. Don't wake up and let the devil beat your butt every day. You said no more, you're done. All things are passed away. All things are become new. Yeah, don't even let anybody drag you back. Reminding you. If you have to break company with people who are addicted to reminding you. 
then break company if all you want to do is remind me. I don't need no reminder. <laughs> God threw it into the sea of forgetfulness. You throw it into. Listen, you know what the Lord said? Touch not the unclean thing. Touch not the unclean thing. When you know it's unclean, don't touch it anymore. It's dirty. It's dirty. It's polluted and it will pollute you. He said, I'll be a father to you. You'll be my daughter. Just don't touch the unclean thing. He knows you're not perfect. He's plenteous in mercy. He abundantly pardons, but you have to break away. Listen, I'm not judging you. You know I've had to break away. That's why I can tell you that there's a blessing on the other side of the breakaway. Now put your hands together. Thank you, Jesus. Satan had me bound, but Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad. Je Glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. I used to be over there, but I came back over here. You can come up and out. Tell your neighbor, up and out. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, up and out. Tell him I came up and then I came out. Tell him I had to come out so I could come up. Somebody give God a praise for up and out. I was a little girl they used to sing a song up up and away in my beautiful my beautiful balloon who's old like me Karen can you remember that song Bridget usually remembers them with me Deb you remember that amen up up and away away from this and away from that <laughs> away from you you and you This is a word of the Lord for you. And you know what I'm going to tell you? Don't go back. Sometimes you need a clean break. Cry a few tears. But be done. Have a few lonely, difficult days, but be done. Be fruit. Be through. You know why? Your life is waiting for you. Your real life is waiting for you. Your eyes haven't even seen. I'm prophesying. Your ears haven't even heard. You haven't even entered into your heart the things the Lord has prepared for you. But you got to come up and out. Tell your neighbor, up and out. Tell the person on the other side, up and out. I'm all the way done this time. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, let's bow our heads. We thank you. Oh, you are shot. You are our redeemer. You are our savior. We needed your blood because our sins have been scarlet. They have been bright red. Every single one of us, from those who pretend to be pious, to those of us who know we've been raunchy, we give you praise, hallelujah, for the great love wherewith you've loved us. We pray for strength to abandon unclean things. Give us strength. Sometimes we've had an appetite for the unclean. Sometimes we didn't even want to have it. It was an appetite passed on to us. But we prayed today to break company with the unclean thing. 
I pray for you to have grace this week to break up. Pray for you to have grace to cancel. Pray for you to have grace to walk away. Pray for you to have grace to repent. To repent. To say, okay, that's it. Father, as you've always been so merciful and kind, Thank you that you tattooed our name into your hand. Thank you that we are yours. Redeem your people out of the places where we have stumbled and fallen. Retrieve us, redeem us. Grant us your grace and peace to walk in newness of life. Help us not even to look like what we've been through. Give us courage to go on without the people and the places and the things that used to give us comfort. Help us to go on without them and help us to find grace and strength in the presence of the one who loves us the most. And we pray now that the spirit of deception that tells us that we don't have to leave and that we don't have to break and that we can keep on living a duplicitous life. We pray that that demon will be rebuked from our unconscious mind, from our subconscious mind, and from our conscious mind. We pray in Jesus' name that we might walk worthy of you to the best of what lies in us, and that your name might be glorified, and that we might present you to the best of our ability with holy lives, lives that are lived for the upbuilding of your kingdom. Help us to have consecrated mouths, consecrated speech, consecrated pastime activities. And we invite you even into our thought lives. Please bring down vain imaginations. Please, please break down old ways of thinking that keep us trapped. Please cancel the assignment of mind-binding and mind-blinding demons who've kept us running around the same gerbil wheel for decades. Help us to know the truth and let the truth set us free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. I want to speak to you today on the subject, expect and encounter. Expect and encounter. Raise your hand if you're not ashamed to say, you got some cologne in your collection that always does the trick. <laughs> no, don't be ashamed. Okay, Brother Calvin, thank you. I, I always say, you always tell the truth. Come on, it's way in the back. You don't spray. Come on, Brother Kevin, tell the truth. Now, one little spray of this. One time, Elder Dennis and I were going on a trip. Brother Johnny gave him some perfume. He said, now, Elder Dennis, all you need is one squirt of this. <laughs> Amen. He was right. Praise God. How many people got a dress that said, this LBD does the daggone thing? Let me see your hand. If you ever had one, you, you're very safe now. But if you had one. I put on this little black dress and I can't hardly get to the corner of my block. Okay. There are some things that assure you of an encounter. See, if I say it carnal in the beginning, then you know what I'm talking about. Isn't that right? I know when I present myself this way, Somebody's gonna say something to me. Right? I mean, nod your head if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's interesting to me that we can go to a family reunion and expect to have an encounter with our loudmouth cousin Sharon, who always comes and starts it with our pain in the neck cousin Jethro, come on somebody, who always comes lit. 
with our self-righteous sister-in-law who thinks she's better than everybody in our whole family. With our nasty behind uncle who nobody wants to be around or hug, come on here, or kiss or come within 10 feet of. Is this too much for you already? Because we anticipate an encounter. I know what happens at these events. I expect an encounter. Sometimes you can go to work and see the look on your boss's face and say, oh, Jesus. Because whenever he looks like that, going to be an encounter. Man, I expect it. Some married people can tell by a tone. You say, good morning. They say, hmm. You say, oh, boy. <laughs> An encounter is a brewing. Well, sometimes, what the look on somebody's face tell you? An encounter is coming. <laughs> Can't you just sometimes tell by how their face looks? Just the whole mug is giving it away. Huh? You got to start taking off your earrings before. Because I know what's coming next. It's interesting that believers can anticipate encounters and can expect encounters in all kinds of social settings in our family, in our friend group, come on, uh, at work, on our floor, in the laundry room, in the grocery store, behind the wheel, getting on to the Bruckner, you expect an encounter. But we come every week. to the house of the living God. True, I'm so glad to see you. Thank God for you, I love you. And we just come into church. Think about whether we're gonna get three wings and a leg, or two wings and a breast. I don't really like that macaroni salad. I think I'm gonna do the potato salad. We worshiping and you planning your dinner at Crown. Yes. Crown. Help the church. Are you expecting an encounter? When you get out of the accessoride, are you expecting an encounter when you step your feet off the bus? Are you expecting an encounter as you come to the house of the Lord, pulling into the driveway, into the parking lot? Are you anticipating that God is going to meet you and do something to change your life? Do you serve the living Savior who's in the world today? Do you worship the king eternal, immortal, invisible? Expecting an encounter. Matthew 18, 19 through 20 says, again, I tell you that if two of you, any two of you on earth agree about anything, and then you ask me for it, it'll be done for you by my Father in heaven. That's pretty good right there, isn't it? But then listen to this part right here. For where two or three of you are gathered together in my name, what does, is that a typo? He said what? There am I with them. For where two or three gather in my, so when you get together, I'm coming too. When you get together, I want to be with you where one, two who love me commune together. I can't resist. I got to come and see what you saying and what you doing. I want to be with you. I want to be where you are. Two of my beloved are together. I want to be with you. You may or not perceive me, but I am with you. Second Corinthians 3.17 says, Now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 
So I recently had a conversation with my coach, and I told her about an experience I had in ministry recently, and she shared an observation with me. She said, Kanye Ray, I think many of our folk come to the house of the Lord to attend worship services, and not enough come expecting an encounter. They don't come with the belief that they're going to have an experience with Jesus today. Don't matter who's preaching. Don't matter who's singing. Don't matter who shouted first. Do you come convinced that you can have an encounter with Christ? She said they come and they expect to get some new encouraging information from the sermon and they expect to sing a few songs of praise and they expect to have a time of prayer and to hear some scriptures read and they expect a good worship service, but they don't expect to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit themselves. Can I see your hand if you've ever had an encounter with the Holy Spirit in the house of God yourself? You yourself, where you were like, oh, 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 I didn't come here planning to cry. Oh, my Lord, I didn't come here planning to get delivered. I thought I was going to leave with all the demons I brought with me when I came. Oh, my goodness, I didn't come expecting to be inspired. I didn't come expecting to get holy vision. I didn't come expecting to be healed. I didn't come expecting to be changed. I didn't think I was going to be transformed. I didn't know the Lord was going to plant seeds for my next step into my heart as I sat in my seat. I didn't know the Lord was going to reveal to me what he put in me that he wants to use me for. I didn't know I was going to get another chance. I didn't know I was going to have an encounter. I didn't know somebody was going to take my hand and pray for me and a shackle would fall off me. I didn't know that in the bathroom somebody would was going to hug me and it was going to remind me that some people do love me. I didn't know. I could have an encounter with the spirit of the living God at my own church. Some people go to another church to get an encounter. When she said that to me, I had to pause to consider what she was saying and what that might mean. Lots of us come to church on Saturdays for prayer and on Sundays for worship. And we bring tangible things with us, things that are not an expectation of an encounter. We bring our Bible, our purse. Sometimes it matches our shoes. We bring our phones. Some of us bring a tithe or offering envelope with something actually in it. Come on here, all filled out. Many of us bring some candy to eat. Raise your hand if you brought some candy. Don't be shamed. I know that's right. Look at that's about three quarters of us. What is church without a little candy? bring candy in case the preacher preaches too long. We bring a birthday card for a special friend. I mean, one time I said to Sister Christ, you got some candy? So she's so blessed. She said, oh, yes, yes. She gave me a peppermint. I said, girl, you don't have a Snickers in your box? I'm talking about candy. That next week she bought me a big soup, a family-sized Snickers. Amen. Some people like candy, candy. Amen. I know y'all like a peppermint. Don't give me no mint. I want nougat and nuts. Come on, your chocolate. She said, I'm not messing with you, Pastor. But do we actually come anticipating an encounter? Maybe I'll get back to this later. A literal encounter, a spiritual meeting, a time of refreshing and renewal. Do we say, that's for those kind of people? You know those shoutums. You you know those uh, uh, um, energizer bunnies. The rest of us just have to wait till they finish shouting. That's for them. Baby, you missing the best part. If you come and say all the good stuff goes to them, you can have an encounter without shouting. You can have an encounter without falling out on the ground. Come on. Come on. You can have an encounter without twirling around three times. Uh, Tina got to catch you, almost break her heel trying to get you, cover you up, huh? Your dress is up over your head. You don't have to fall out to have an encounter. You can have an encounter in the silence. God can speak to you and give you a vision of what you should be doing. The Holy Ghost can influence your thoughts. He can make a crooked place straight in your thought life while you sit in your seat. He can cancel the assignment of addiction over your life while you sing the song. That's why when the man of God and the woman of God lead you, you ought to open your mouth and sing it. 
because you can get liberated by the words you're singing. Do we bring a sense of expectation to church with us? I'm using up all my time, so I'm going to come back to it whenever my next time is. We bring tangible things with us to church, like the Adams I just mentioned, and we also bring intangible things with us. We bring deep worry for our children when we come. We bring heartache over painful losses. We bring them with us when we come to church. You know, the truth is we bring frustration to church. Raise your hand if you know I'm telling the truth now. Now you know, right, Tiff? We bring frustration with us over things that are dissatisfactory, but they seem like they won't change. Ah, uh, uh, and we bring fears with us, fears of what's gonna happen with our finances and with our health and with our fragile relationships. Can we hold them together? And with our futures, we bring fears. We come to church carrying many things in our hands and carrying many things in our hearts, but I wonder if we come carrying expectation that something powerful can and will happen for me while I'm here in the presence of the Lord. I'm going to skip down. Maybe the too few of us actually come in saying to ourselves, I'm going to have an experience with the Holy Spirit today. I'm going to have an experience that too few of us pull into the parking lot singing, speak to my heart. Sing it with me. Holy Spirit, message of love. Come on, sing it. To encourage me, lifting my heart from despair. How you love me and care for me. Please speak to my heart. We don't sing, speak to my heart. Holy Spirit, and give me a word that will bring new life. Words on the wings of the morning, my dark nights will fade away if you speak to my heart. You ought to get off the bus saying, speak to my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of the car and sing to him, speak to my heart. Oh, get out the accessoride and sing, speak to my heart. Walking down the street, I'm asking the Father, speak to my heart. Sitting in my chair, I'm asking the Savior, speak to my heart. Rolling my eyes at the person next to me. <laughs> speak to my heart, speak to my heart, speak to my heart. Do few of us get off the bus and say, my mind is going to be renewed by the word of God today. Well, that's the confession you should make. I understand you come in. I know it's going to be cold in there. I'll tell you right now, if they could just turn on some heat. And you should be saying, renew my mind. Help me with this head of mine. It always thinks the wrong things. Too few of us get out of the accessory telling ourselves, someone's going to pray with me today, and the Lord's going to move powerfully in my life. Today I'm going to receive healing. Today I'm going to receive God's answer to my questions. Today my path is going to get straightened. Today uh, I'm going to receive divine direction and clarity. The issue I want to point out is the issue of expectation. So can you let me just say a few minutes more, and then we'll go on to communion, and then I'll come back, okay? For believers like us, there's a connection between what we believe and what we receive. Did you hear that? Yes. What we expect yes. and what we believe, what we believe and what we receive. There's a connection. Huh? Somebody said, that's just what I expected. Well, you were speaking negative about it for two years before it happened. I knew you weren't going to be nothing. Well, you confessed that before we got married. In Mark eleven twenty four, 24, Jesus says, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, Believe that you've received it and it'll be yours. So there's a connection between what we believe and what we come to expect. In Genesis, God tells Noah to build an ark because the earth was going to be flooded with water. Noah had never seen a raindrop in his entire life. That's because in Noah's lifetime, no rain had ever fallen on the earth. God had not allowed rain to fall on the earth. A mist would come over and it would come up from the ground and it would water the plants. And so Noah believed the word of God. 
God tells him it's going to happen, and then he expects it to happen, so he builds an ark. Isn't that right? Yeah. And then his family gets into the ark, yeah. and then it starts to pour down. And the ark is the only means of surviving the flood that lasted 40 days and 40 nights. He prepared because he had an expectation. Yeah. Now, when you have an expectation, you will make preparation. Huh? And now people get ready to come to your house for dinner. You're not going to see if you got four saltines left. Come on in the, in the box. Because you know we want to have dinner. Isn't that right, Sister Diane? You have to shop. It takes Di a long time to pick her chicken and pick her fish. She knows exactly which pieces that she wants to have. You prepare when you anticipate. Yes. Yes. Sesame Street. Uh, Ernie and Cookie Monster had an interesting encounter. Y'all remember Cookie Monster? Y'all remember Ernie? So Cookie came to Ernie's house. Sometimes I feel like I am Cookie Monster myself. All he could say was what? Cookie! And so Cookie Monster comes to Ernie's house and, and Ernie says, I'm going to stop here. Ernie says, oh, Cookie, I didn't know you were coming. And he said, what do you want? He said, Cookie! And he said, yeah, yeah, man, you should have called me. Oh, you should have told me, bro. You should have, oh, if you had only let me know. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. Baked a cake, baked a cake. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. How you do, how you do, how you do. I want to tell you something. He's coming. So bake your cake. He's coming. So prepare your heart. I'm going to tell you now, he's coming. I don't want you to say, oh, I wish I knew. I'm serving you notice. I come a whole shot. The spirit of the Lord has an agenda for 720 Castle Hill Avenue. He has an agenda to do good measure, press down, shaking together and running over. He has an agenda to pour out his spirit. He has an agenda to be glorified in our midst. He has an agenda to fill us with his spirit and for us to be useful in the kingdom. He has an agenda that when people walk past us, they'll be healed. They don't have to come in. They just need to walk past the door. He has an agenda that the effectual fervent prayers of righteous men and righteous women prayed in this neighborhood will bring the crime rate down, bring the unemployment rate down, bring the violent um, um, murders and stabbing, all the rates down as we pray God is going to do something amazing here and I want you to be ready expect an encounter come with expectation he didn't put all he put in you for you to be ordinary Charlene Hall you're everything but ordinary God has put something extraordinary and let me just tell you this is a tragedy you can live one quarter of your real life and then die you can die being a fraction of who you could have been and who you should have been you can die being I when you could have been din 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 who knows that? Dun, dun, dun. What's the word? Outstanding. You could have been outstanding. You know, you, you can be tepid and lukewarm when you could be boiling. I had breakfast this morning. I'm feeling a little better. That's what happens when you have breakfast. Many Christians live in a way where Jesus is a far away um, kind of um, maybe he hears me, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he loves me, probably doesn't. Maybe he's on my side, he's probably mad at me. 
Many of us live in this way with this transcendent notion of God. He's so far, he could never relate to the fact that my feelings are still hurt. He could never relate to the fact that I feel like I have trouble getting out of bed. He could never relate to the fact that my heart is still broken. He could never relate to the fact that I keep on messing up. And I want to tell you that that's not God. You serve the Savior who said, if you come and I'm coming with you. Hey, you serve the Redeemer who said, lo, I'm with you always. Even until the end of the age, you serve the one who said, I will never leave you. Neither will I forsake you. Lo, I'm with you always. You serve the mighty God who never sleeps who never slumbers, who watches you, but who gives his angels a charge every day concerning you to keep you in all your ways. You would have blown both your knees out if the angels weren't on assignment. The car crash you were in would have killed you if the angels weren't buffering you on the left and on the right. You, you would have been dead sleeping in your grave if the blood of Jesus hadn't been covering you morning, noon, and night. If he didn't lie you you wouldn't be able to breathe if he didn't want you you wouldn't be able to stand up and pull up your pants if you weren't the apple of his eye your heart would have failed you would have lost your mind because that was the enemy's plan for you he's interested in you he wants an intimate relationship and you like this distant far away thing He's like, I want to be where you are. Two or three of y'all coming together, I'm coming too. Invite me or not, I'm coming. And where his spirit is, there's freedom. Now listen to me. That means you don't have to stay bound. You hear me, baby girl? You hear me? You don't have to stay bound. Hmm? The bent over woman had an encounter with Jesus. And he said, you're loosed. I set you free today. She said, well, if I'm free, let me stand on up. The woman with the issue of blood had an encounter. And the flow dried up the minute she touched the hem. Why would you settle? or a sterile, dry religion when you serve the God who is a consuming fire? Why would you settle for a powerless, weak-willed spirituality when Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life? And why would you stay bound when he came with the agenda of setting the captives free? This is what I want to tell you. You can be free. Anybody want to be honest with me? And I'll lift my hand. Some areas in your life you've been bound. Me too. Me too. Just bound. Tied up. Don't even want to still be stuck here. Just bound. You mean I'm still stuck? I'm saved and still stuck? I love him and I'm still stuck? I read my Bible every day. Still stuck? Huh? He came to set captives free. Know what you need? An encounter. <laughs> Hallelujah! Need an encounter with the Savior. He can save you. He can redeem you. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, is freedom. There's liberty from bondage. And you can be free. Would you be free from your burden of sin? power in the blood power in the blood would you over evil the victory win there's wonderful power in the blood it's not weak it's not tepid there's power power wonder working power Shama Mahosha. it's in the blood of the lamb sing sunny there's power yeah, there's power. Wonder work. 
wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power. Oh, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, oh, power, oh, it's wonder working power. It's in the blood of oh, the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, oh, wonder working power in the precious blood. Come on, one more time. Come on, say, there is power. Oh, oh yeah, oh wonder working power is in the blood of oh, the Lamb. Oh there is power, power. Oh wonder working power in the precious blood. with him he can make every crooked place straight he can make every rough place a plain he can make darkness light before you he'll give you strength to deal with things you didn't think you could handle he'll give you grace to deal with things you didn't think you could tolerate Ooh, he can move mountains he'll cause walls to fall with his power He'll perform miracles. There's nothing. It's impossible. If you expect an encounter, friends, come to church with expectation. Don't come to church to get your nap in. Come on here. Vincia, some people come to get a nap in. They sleep good in that chair. Come on. Don't come for your nap. Get the nap at home. Don't come just to blow us kisses. Pass us a piece of cornbread you baked last night that was slamming. We like the cornbread. But there's more to be had in the house of the Lord. I don't want you to be the person who says, oh, I just don't express myself that way. I'm not talking about you expressing yourself. I'm talking about you having an encounter with the living God. He heals. He fills empty places. He inspires. He makes ways. He can do what no other can do. If you're here today and you haven't met him yet, you haven't had an encounter, in Jesus' name, we pray that every stony heart will melt in his presence. We want to invite you to come. Because listen, there's more. You know what I hate? I hate to leave a situation and find out I could have had more. Don't you hate that? The last thing I want to do is die and find out that I didn't get all God had for me. I'm not going to die and then let the devil keep my stuff. I don't know about y'all. I want all my days. Come on. I want all my monies. <laughs> all my monies. 
I want a successful business. Come on. I want to be vibrant. I want to be a blazing torch in the kingdom of God. I want people to be able to pronounce Kanye Ray. Is it Kanye West? Is it Connie? Kenyiri? Canary? No, no! It's not any of those. Somebody one time said kangaroo. I said, that's not quite it. Tanqueray. I said, almost, but not quite. Y'all ain't asking how to pronounce Oprah's name. You understand what I'm trying to say? Man, do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to be all that he made me to be. Does anybody else want that? I want it all. I don't want to leave any on the table. I want all of it. I want all of it. Everything you have for me, where you wrote down my name, Kanye Ray F. Eaton, I want all the things you put under there. I want my book, Jackson. Come on, I want to be on book tours. Come on, somebody. I want to be helping people. Then I want to write my second one. Nobody in here is feeling that? I don't, I, don't want, I, I don't want to die and my children are saved. What? How my children ain't going to be saved? I want my grandchildren to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Nobody feels that way? I want my grandchildren to have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I want to live to see my loved ones not addicted anymore. Free, clean, sober. Nobody don't feel like that but me, right? Nobody high at 7.30. Stone drunk at 9. I want to see my people free. Don't you? That's how I want to live. I want them to be free. Free, free, free. I want to walk in the authority of Jesus Christ. Don't you want that too? I want my full life. I want to witness to everybody who's supposed to come to heaven because I told them about Jesus. I want to be salt and light. I want somebody to say, Dad, she's salt. Not in a bad way, like, whoop. There's no denying that flavor. You understand? I want to be so filled with light that darkness runs and hides. The prophet said to me, you got an anointing on you that when you come in the room, demons will start screaming out of people when you come in. I don't want them to scream, I want them out. I want to be a bloodhound. I'll chase you down till you come out. Out, out, out. Maybe you don't feel that way too. But I want you to want your life. Keys your full life. You understand what I mean? So that when people see a K, they don't even think of Kanye. They think of keys. They wearing that big OK. That's Keanu Reeves, baby. You didn't know? Some people at 70 just get started. Some of y'all gave up. Why would you give up? Is that heart still beating? And why would you throw it in the garbage? Just cause it didn't work so far I don't mean it ain't gonna work now. Keep your hand to the plow. Don't look back. You haven't lost everything. It's not too late. I heard myself saying to the Lord, I think I waited too late. I think it's too late for me. Like, what can I do now? You know what he said? Who you think I am? What you think this is? Who are you talking to? How can it be too late if you're in my divine time? How can it be too late if I'm the God of Kairos? How can it be too late if I'm the God of yesterday, today, and forever? How could you have missed your opportunity when I'm the God of opportunity? I'll make you a new one. It's enough for y'all, I see. I want you to want your life. Tony Braxton, sister, tell y'all, get your life. Get your life, don't let it get away. Get your life. Get your life. These years are slipping, get yours. Sabrina Morris, we can do the things that the people we admire do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you have that kind of charisma. You have that kind of charisma. Sabrina Guerrero Morris. To be great. To be not, not just good at it, baby. To be great, Sabrina. 
Sabrina, you have it. You have it to be somebody everybody wants to follow. What is she saying today? What's her revelation? I'm stopping. I don't want you to be okay with okay. Keep speaking till the mountain moves. Keep praying till the circumstance changes. Keep believing until the crooked place is made straight. When your husband goes to sleep, lay your hand on his head and say, God, visit him. <laughs> when your wife is snoring away, say, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> do a work in this woman's character. You think he won't do it? My brother wrote me from rehab last week. You didn't know I knew when you used to come downstairs in the basement where I was asleep before the lights came up, before the sun rose. I felt you putting your hands on my feet and praying that the Lord would save me. Praying that the Lord would deliver me. That I wouldn't want crack or weed or alcohol. I know you prayed. I think that's why the Lord has preserved my life. Pray till my brother gets clean. I'm gonna pray till my brother gets clean. I'm gonna pray till he's clean, sober. Let's expect an encounter in our houses. Now, let me tell you a secret go through that house when nobody's home. Yeah, yes, Vincy. Here's the doorpost. Here's you. witches put all kind of stuff in people's food but you scared to put some oil up on the door at your own house put it over your son's door put it over your daughter's door grease her whole headboard down pray over the people asleep in your house you hear me if you're here and you haven't had an encounter we would love you to come now. We pray with you and for you. We pray with you and for you. While we pray for you, we pray for ourselves. Because we need the Lord. Do you know that song, Come Home, Ye Who Are Weary, Come Home Softly and Tenderly, Jesus is Calling? You know that song? Calling, oh sinner, come home. No? Okay. Anyway. You know it? Oh, okay. All right. How grateful we are. Anybody want to come? I'm sorry, this seems silly. Anybody want to come? Anybody want to come? Anybody want to come? Listen, come in expecting an encounter. Even if you're mad at somebody. I want to ask you, like, not, not to, come on, precious. Even, even a, and, and if, listen, and if you feel like you'd like to join this church, you can come now, and we'll welcome you. Well, well, well. Many years. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, glory to God. We're so glad. We're so happy. We're so happy. prepare our hearts now for the service of Holy Communion and we ask our deacons to come now if you would and help us be prepared. So if you're seated in the fireside, I mean, sorry, in the Patterson wing, would you raise your hand? Do you know what the Patterson wing is? That's you right over there. Okay. 
See, all of you, will you raise your hand? My mother's son, amen, amen, that's right, Vernon. My mother shares a son with Sister Charlene. My mother did none of the work. Charlene did all the work, but my mother claimed him as her own son. She's in Ohio now. She went home for a couple days. I want to ask you all not to move, okay? The deacons are going to come and serve you communion, so please do not get up and walk around. Everybody here, even if you're able to walk, we're just going to ask you to stay right in your seat if you would, okay? Deacons, will you help us get ready? Sisters and brothers, the call to communion, it's, not our sacred, it's now our sacred privilege to celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion. We call it the Lord's Supper. And today the Holy Spirit welcomes us to come to the Lord's table and to eat and to drink. All of us who humbly put our trust in Jesus Christ. Would you help me with some glasses? Are welcome to come and all of us who desire his help so that we may lead a holy life yes God we need his help to live a holy life are welcome to come and all, all of us who are truly sorry for our sins and we pray to be delivered from all of them we're welcome to come and all of us who seek to walk in love with our neighbors are welcome to come sister Tanisha told us about that today and all who seek to follow the commandments of God and walk from now on in his holy ways are invited to draw near with faith and to receive this holy sacrament, the Lord's Supper. Amen. Let's just sing one verse of Just As I Am. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that Thou bidded me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Glory to God. We have a litany now. I'll be the leader and you be the people. Worthy is the Lamb slain before the foundations of the world. Christ is the King of Kings, and let his praises be on the world. Covenant making, covenant keeping Savior, you are the spotless Lamb of God. O Lamb of God, we come to your table. Lord, your body was beaten and bruised and broken for our redemption. Lord, your sinless blood was forced from the fountain of Emmanuel's veins for our pardon. O Lamb of God, we come. We receive your welcome to this life-giving table where we dine at the banquet of the Lamb. O Lamb of God, we come to your table. And together, O Lamb of God, we come. Come, sisters and brothers, to this sacred table, not because you must, but because you may come to testify, not that you're righteous, but that you sincerely love the Lord our God and you desire to be his true disciples. Come not because you're strong, but because you're weak. Not because you have any claim on the grace of God, but because in your frailty and in your sin, you stand in constant need of God's mercy and God's help. Come not to express your opinion, but to seek God's presence and to pray for the filling of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, we draw near to you today in holy remembrance of the sacrifice you made for us. The covenant you made with your body broke the power of sin and law 
that kept us from your presence. The covenant you made with your blood blotted out the accusations and handwritings that were against us. So we ready our hearts to come to your table with humility and with gratitude. We come to the table because we remember your covenant and we recognize its power to save. Please bless and sanctify both these elements and us. Um, and the heart, and I'm sorry, please bless and sanctify both these elements we will receive and these hearts we humbly bow in your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us pray, pray together on our knees. Let us pray, pray together on our knees. When I fall on my knees, with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us pray, pray together on our knees. Let us pray, pray together on our knees. When I fall on my knees, the ushers with as my they lead you now. The rising sun. Jackson oh, Wayne, you're going to stay seated. Have mercy Sister on Rivers me. and Sister Sample lead you. Please come up the middle Let aisle. Us Let me just say that we have baked, fresh baked bread on, on either knees. side, and we have pre packaged communion on one. Just take one or the other. Hold out your hand if you want the bread. All right, sweetheart. She wants this when okay. I fall God bless you, on precious. my knees, you got it? with All my right. face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees, with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees, with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us pray, pray together on our knees. Let us pray, pray together on our knees. When I fall on my knees, with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us break wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When I fall on my knees, with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us drink 
wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Break bread, break bread. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us drink bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us drink wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Drink wine. Let us drink wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. Drink wine. Let us drink wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When I fall on my knees, with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us drink wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. 
When I fall on my knees With my face to the rising sun Oh Lord, have mercy on me passed on to you. The Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it. Will you take yours. He said this is my body which is for you. This do in remembrance of me. Sisters and brothers this is the body of Christ broken for you. Eat it and know that with his stripes you were healed. The body of Christ. says that in the same way after supper he took the cup saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me brothers and sisters this is the blood of Jesus it's the cup of blessing drink it and rejoice that your sins have been washed away the blood of Jesus Would you stand as we sing this hymn together? It's a quick reminder, Women's Fellowship asks that all the women who are members of our church stay after service for a quick meeting. Come on, let's sing with all our hearts the blood that Jesus shed for me. The blood that Jesus shed Way back on Calvary, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never. Soothe my doubt. You soothe my doubt. Send it home. Come to my, my feet. feet. And it it tries. tries. Oh, oh, all of my tears. 
Radio Plan. Amen. Please go in the peace of Christ. Sisters, fellowship, we ask you to stay as a women's fellowship team.